Hello, this is the Aphius Pony bringing you a deck profile of my Ballista deck. Starting with the white line, Brains in the O Ballista, Proof of Hard Work Ballista that has the skill when this unit is voted upon. Put one card from your hand and into the soul. Insert your deck for one gem card and reveal it and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. Also, the rear guard the skill which we don't use is when you play an order, you can soul blast one and this unit gets plus 5000 till the end of turn. The grade two in the red line is has an auto once per turn. When you play a gem card, you get to draw a card and it's expanded world ballista. It also has a G uh, skill which is continuous for every two cards in your drop zone. This unit gets plus 5000 shield, which we won't use. And we also have four of the grade three, whereas Magicka Ballista. Her effect is if you soul blast a true hearted ruby, you get until the end of the turn. Plus 15k and your opponent can't intercept this uh, unit. Also, has the second skill, Soul Blast 1, Air Blast and Sapphire, which lets you look at the five cards from your top of your deck, choose up to two units from among them, and call them to open rear card circles, and discard the rest, and those units get plus 5000 until the end of turn. Uh, you're gonna be one of the things you're gonna be careful with this deck is if you overuse that second ability, you can leave yourself open to being decked out quite easily. So, for a good pilot, you need to be good at resource management for this deck. The next grade three is four of alternative deep love artillery. Its skill is when you play a true heart of ruby, if your vanguard is Quiz Magic Realista, which it will be by the time you play this, until the end of turn, this unit gets plus 10,000 and you can play an additional order this turn. It increases each time this ability is activated. So if you play multiple uh, true heart of rubies, or you can pile up quite nicely. Next one is three of the Mystic Voice Veneta, which is the oh. Recycler. Its original text says you choose two gems with different names when placed. Put one in the bottom of your deck and put one for the rest in your soul. But this card recently got a Rata, so instead of having two different cards with the same name, there's going to be two of the same cards with the same name. The next grade three, uh, grade two I want is Unrelenting Talent Henrietta. Her skill is when unit is this unit is boosted, you can soul blast one until the end of that battle. It increases unit's power by the original shield of the boosting unit. This can, can be really good, especially if you happen to draw your over trigger and you put the over trigger behind it. She can get some pretty insane numbers. Next, I play two of the mini live after school Katina. Her skill is when placed on rear guard circle, so pass one to score one card from your hand and choose a gem card from your drop and put it in your hand. Next is the draw power, draw power uh, part of the deck. Is the uh, Tranquil Affection Olivia. Her skill is when you play Everlasting Sapphire, if your fan god is Plasmagica Ballista, you get to draw a card. And this is not once per turn, so if you play multiple Sapphires, you're going to get multiple draws. Next is the four perfect gods. I play Mr. Committee Nessaline, but you can play any of them. Next is the first of the gems, which is four copies of True Hearted Ruby. 
it says if you play play this so uh, counter blast one draw two cards choose one card from your hand and discard it and put this card into your soul next is everlasting sapphire which has uh, you choose one of your units and it gets plus five thousand till the end of turn and you put this card into your soul next for the trigger lineup i'll play four front triggers it doesn't as it doesn't need a draw power and plus you only limited to three attacks so getting as much power on the front row is quite important in this deck next is seven critical triggers four heals and of course the one over trigger uh, this is it for the deck profile hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one